Sneemaster! Hi everyone, Sneemaster here with a February 2023 news update. First off, we have the February subscriber promotion. For this month, CIG is giving out pink RSI armor sets to go with the Koromor event. Keep in mind, these suits do not come with backpacks. The website makes them look red, but they're actually pink. Centurion level subscribers get the pink and black metallic lovestruck armor. Imperator level subscribers get the lovestruck armor plus the pink and white star-crossed armor. Finally, there is the pink and purple envy armor set that subscribers can buy in the subscriber store. These are still standard RSI armor sets, but the color combinations are a bit more difficult to find, especially the shiny metallic ones. The Envy set might be unique though, as I haven't seen this armor in-game. The subscriber ship this month is the Banner Defender with 12-month insurance for $220. Check out my previous video on the Defender if you're curious on it. It's a long-range alien, two-person fighter. A decent ship to escort cargo craft with, which will be very important in 318 and later. With the cargo refactor and persistent entity streaming, pirates will be eager to attack cargo ships, so it's all the more important to keep them safe. February is also the month for Koromor, which is like a romantic Valentine's event, where citizens get gifts and cards for loved ones or travel to romantic destinations together. To this end, there are some pink paints for ships and vehicles such as the Arrow, the Cyclone, the Scorpius, the Hover Quad, the Nomad, and the Ares. They are shiny metallic pink paints that actually look pretty nice. You can only buy these paints during this event. The paints for the Arrow, Cyclone, and Scorpius will show up in-game in Patch 318. You can also buy the ships that use these paints for a limited time too. That includes every Cyclone variant, the Arrow, the Hover Quad, the Nomad, plus the Scorpius and Ares Starfighter, both of which are rare to buy. Aside from that are some Red Alert armor sets for sale, which are combinations of red and black. Not quite as romantic, but they are great looking armors. These suits also showed up in the IAE show last year, but this set doesn't have the red weapons with them. There is also a sale on the rare Anvil Super Hornet Heartseeker variant. It's just like the regular Super Hornet, which is a two-person medium fighter, but has a Valentine nose art. Plus, it comes stocked with a fixed-size four-gun on top instead of a turret, which is pretty powerful. You can only buy it at certain times of the year, and Koromor is a good time to get it. Finally, there is a screenshot contest. Take pictures with hearts on them or other romantic things anywhere in the verse by February 15th and get a chance to win some groovy spaceships with Koromor paints. For patch news, 318 is still in Wave 2 PTU, but is expected to go to Open PTU probably next week, so that anyone can join the PTU version. It still has a bunch of bugs, so live could be a ways out. There are also rumors of a new RSI Scorpius variant that will release with patch 318 that may have EMP and quantum enforcement devices. We don't have any official specs on it yet, so we'll have to see how it turns out. CIG gave out news indicating that patch 319 will release just before the Invictus event this year. It'll be a more refined version of 318, but with some new features included, such as a revamp of the city of Loreville, some new salvage missions, a new PvP mission, similar to the security post Korea missions, and some tutorials within the first 30 minutes of gameplay to show new players how to play. Hopefully more things are added as well to 319 but we'll just have to see. 319 will be similar to patch 316, which was a polished version of 315. I have to say 316 was a very smooth patch, so I hope 319 will be as well. After 319 releases, then we'll start dealing with the first server meshing patches. No word yet on whether that'll be patch 3.2 or 4.0, but we do expect 4.0 hopefully by the end of the year, maybe a little bit into the next year. All right, so that's the latest subscriber, Coromore, and patch news for February 2023. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can use my referral code if you decide to jump in to Star Citizen, and you'll get 5,000 extra in-game credits. Here's a big thank you to my current patrons. I have a Patreon going for $3 a month. All patrons will have their names listed at the end of my videos, and get first pick of the next item I will cover. So feel free to sign up and let me know what you'd like to see next. Okay, catch you all next time.